You Had Me at Aloha is a pretty good film. It took a little while for me to get into it, but once I did, I, I started to really enjoy it, and it ultimately ended up being an enjoyable watch. This was released in 2021. It's directed by John Punch, and it's written by Neil H. Dabrowski, T.P. Dabrowski, and Rick Garman, and it stars Pascal Hutton as Paige and Kavan Smith as Ben. And Paige and Ben are co-hosting a, a travel documentary show together. And neither of them are particularly enthusiastic about having to have a co-host. And they don't exactly get along very well. And Paige is particularly embarrassed about something that happened in her past. And to begin with, I won't say what it is, but to begin with, I felt like she was overreacting to the situation because she used to be in front of the camera. This embarrassing thing happened and she decided to go behind the camera instead as a producer. And she's nervous about being back in front of the camera. But we do eventually get an explanation or something that I think is a more reasonable reason than just embarrassment for why she decided to no longer be in front of the camera. And it's actually something that becomes quite moving. And it made me look at the character in a different light. So I will say it did take me a little while to get used to the character because of this. I thought she was overreacting to situations and generally just not very pleasant to get on with. But eventually, over time, I started to like her. I feel like I should have disliked Ben more than I did. If I were to pick one character to be the antagonist, I feel like he was maybe slightly more antagonistic, but I liked him more. I don't know if that's a common theme. If anybody has a, a favourite between Paige or Ben, please feel free to let me know. But certainly, I liked him more quickly than I liked Paige. But I did enjoy seeing them perform together. I thought they had a really great on-screen chemistry, particularly when things were good between the characters, because it gave us a really positive vibe. But... Obviously, there was a lot of tension between them two, which makes things a little interesting. I really enjoyed watching their relationship develop and occasionally ebb and flow when one of them would say something the other one was happy with. Paige did overreact on multiple occasions, which does annoy me, but ultimately, I liked the character. As this is a film about travel, we do get some gorgeous locations. It's filmed in Honolulu in Hawaii, and it is stunning. Pretty much every scene is gorgeous to look at. Most of the scenes are outdoors and the scenery is just so beautiful. So it definitely works well in that regard. If you like films that visually look brilliant, this one is. But it also has a, a pretty decent narrative and generally likeable characters. Both the likability of the characters and the narrative did take a little bit of time. It took a little bit of time to actually get going. And, and as I said, I didn't immediately love the characters. But after maybe a third of the film, I started to get into it. And then by the final third, I'd say I was I was emotionally invested in the characters' journeys and I was enjoying the viewing experience. So if it sounds like your kind of film, then You Had Me at Aloha is worth checking out. It might not be perfect, but it's still a pretty good watch. <laughs> 